During this semester, I feel like I've become a more confident public speaker. The important thing that I learned in the textbook was in chapter 13 on page 17, and it was how important ethics really is. This has applied to my daily life because I now realize everything that I say could affect people in any kind of way. If I was the instructor, I would continue to have mini speeches because I feel like they have helped me with my bigger speeches. I would probably stop having the students do two discussion posts and let them do one discussion post as long as it was long enough and fully answered the question. If I was the instructor, I would probably have the students start filming other places besides their house for the bigger speeches because I feel like it is more professional than speaking in, at their house. And now on to my ceremonial speech. The purpose of this speech was to pay a tribute to Oprah Winfrey and all of the services she has done for the country and throughout the world. I use high ethos by using credible sources such as time.com, the online magazine. I needed to use these credible sources to make sure that the information in my speech was trustworthy. So I could not only trust it, my, my audience could too. I used my smartphone to record my speech because it was easy to use and easy to transport. My smartphone also allowed me to upload the video very quickly. My phone was fully charged and ready to go when recording my speech. The element that felt most natural to me would probably be the introduction. I started off with a quote from Oprah and I feel like it really engaged my audience and it allowed my audience to see where she started and what she's gone through and how she de depicts her life. The element that felt most unnatural to me would probably be my first paragraph because it was pretty lengthy and had a lot of background information and details that I needed to get right and I had proper words to use so I needed to remember those exact words. Uh, when developing my speech and considering my audience, I figured that my audience members would be my age so they would know kind of about Oprah, but not really all the things and services and activities and charities she's done. So I decided to start with the background and move to what she's done and then move to what she's awarded so my audience could follow along very easily. After my speech, I think my audience knew a lot more about Oprah and all the services she's done for the country and throughout the world. I feel like they gained not a lot of knowledge from my speech. Overall, I thought this speech was really fun and I liked it because I felt like we got a lot of freedom with our topic and how we described our topic and gave a tribute to them.